the industrial revolution to present day, science, technology, and innovation have evolved at lightning speed. We've come a long way this past century, from the early days of aviation and radio to spaceships, computers, cell phones, and of course, the World Wide Web. Our economy has ebbed and flowed through world wars and natural disasters, and all along, the role of the consumer has played a big role. Now, may be as pivotal a time as ever, AG and BizDoc. Nick Bontis, welcome. Hi, Connie. So consumers can really play a role in keeping the recession from coming back. Sometimes perception is even more important than reality. Consumer confidence is one of the biggest drivers for economic growth because when a consumer feels confident that they're going to keep their job, that interest rates are going to be okay and that inflation is not going to go too high, they take the money in their pocket and they go shopping. And shopping is a great thing for the economy because it multiplies the growth for all the markets. Now when they're not confident, that's when you get the double dip. That's is that right. right? Double dip recession is a phenomenon and it's a very simple definition. You have a normal recession and a normal recession is defined as two quarters, in other words, six months of negative growth. But what typically happens is that you recover from that negative growth of a recession, just like the Canadian and the American marketplace has recently in the last year. But after that recovery, it then slows down again. So that's where the double dip comes in. And the reason for that, Connie, is because when there's an initial recession, what happens is companies lay off a bunch of employees. When those companies lay off their employees, they have less expenses. So actually, they perform a little bit better in the short term. But those people who are laid off don't have consumer confidence. So they never spend any money. And that's why you get the possible double dip recession. I believe, though, that we won't have it. It's very, very rare. A lot of academic researchers are keep on arguing for the last hundred years we may have had only one instance of a double dip recession. So I'm keeping hopeful that we've hit the bottom here. And you folks out there play a big role. Okay, now why is Canada then in a healthier position than the U.S. economy? Is it because of our consumer confidence? Our consumer confidence was very important, but another thing was our banks. Our Canadian banks are world class. They're very, very strong. Our regulatory and our security system is very, very popular. A lot of banks from other parts of the world try to copy what we do in Canada. The other issue, unfortunately, was the mortgages, and that was the problem in the U.S. The real estate market grew so fast, so quickly, they were giving mortgages for very, very low down payments at very, very low rates, and of course, we all know what happened. A lot of those mortgages went belly up, and that's why the U.S. market took a much longer time to recover than the Canadian market. So will Canada suffer if the U.S. economy slows? Well, it will because we're very, very much intertwined. Three out of every four dollars of anything we export in Canada goes to the U.S. So they are a very, very important partner of ours. And when the U.S. is in trouble, we suffer from a little bit of secondhand smoke, as it were. So we really are hopeful that the U.S. market will turn around quickly because then Canada will turn around quickly. Finally, your best advice to the average Canadian to manage their debt during these times. Yeah. First thing is you have to be disciplined with a budget. Know how much money is coming in versus how much money is coming out. That's very, very important. Shop around for interest rates. If your bank is offering you an interest rate that might be higher than another bank, do a little negotiation and they might even drop your debt load. And the last piece of advice, have a garage sale. There's so much junk probably in your house. You could auction it off on eBay or put a little sign up on a Saturday morning. You'll be shocked. You might take in a few extra hundred dollars you never had before. There you go. You heard it from Dr. Nick. Thanks, Nick. We'll Thanks. see you next week.